Welcome to the 12 days of Christmas, everybody. We're going to talk about something that I talk about a lot, and that is breathing. It's the breath. The breath is it's the, the bridge between the mind and the body. Your life is a miracle, and so is your breath. When we come into the world, what is the first thing we do? We inhale. And when we leave this world and we go to be with our daddy God who created us, what is that last thing we do? We exhale. Breath. Breath is everything. When God breathes, he breathes life. He breathes life. So we're going to talk about breathing today and what happens when we do inhale. And I'm going to teach you one of the breathing exercises that I give every single person that would ever come through my office that I ever come encounter with that I just ever, everywhere I go, I'm talking about breathing. It's something that I learned way back in college from the principal flutist of the London Philharmonic Symphony. And we did a masterclass with this man down in Atlanta, Georgia, and we went for an entire hour and all we did was breathe. An entire hour was on breath. We never once picked up our flutes. This is how powerful breathing is. It's just, it is foundational. And when we're talking about the lymphatic system, which is your garbage disposal system of the body, which helps us to do everything in life. It gives us energy. It, it, it takes care of all the icky stuff and, and just it, it, well, it's the river of life. It is the river of life that I, and that's kind of like my, my statement. So breathing activates the lymphatic system. That's one way. So movement and breathing. So we're going to talk about that breathing. Breathing clears out stagnant emotional things. <sighs> when we exhale, it gets rid of the old. It gets rid of toxins. And I believe I said in one of the other videos, if, I, if not in one of these 12 days of Christmas, I know I've said it in several other videos. It is when you breathe, you actually can lose more weight because your lungs are one of your biggest detoxing organs in the body. Gets rid of trash, everybody. So when you breathe, you're losing weight. What? Yes, yes. And a lot of people want to breathe way up in here in, in the upper part. So I'm going to teach you this breathing technique that breathes way down here in the abdominal area. So if you think of a baby, how do babies breathe when they're asleep and you watch them sleeping? How, what, what's going on? Oh, yeah, their belly goes way out. Uh-huh. The belly goes right. out. And then it comes it's, back in. it's that it's movement the in the belly. It's all belly breathing. And uh, when, when, and okay, so let, let me give you a little sciencey stuff because you know I'm all about the sciencey stuff. Hold on, I, I got I got some sciencey notes for you. Science shows, <laughs> I love my sciencey stuff. Science shows us that cancer is anaerobic. Yes, I am saying the C word tonight, the one C word. We have two now. Ugh. One C word, cancer is anaerobic in that it does not survive in high levels of oxygen. Science has proven that. Also, shortness of breath and heart disease are directly linked. The heart goes into spasms when it's deprived of oxygen. Direct correlation. There's a direct correlation between high blood pressure and poor breathing. What is that machine that people are on every night that tries to help them sleep because they can't breathe? Oh, the, the, um, mm -hmm, that <laughs> makes a lot of noise. I'm like, how do you sleep with that noise? Good gosh. But anyway, you know, lots of people are on that breathing. That well, yeah, bre yes. Breathing <laughs> well equals sleeping well. So we're going to, I'm going to give you a challenge when I teach you this breathing technique, I'm gonna give you a challenge, okay? It provides 99% of your energy without, without breathing, it doesn't work, nothing works. Nothing works. We have to have breath in order to function. You know, we talk about eating good nutrient dense food. 
we can go days without eating. We can fast. We, you know, Jesus fasted that whole time. And man, was he on it at the end of that fast. I mean, we can talk about fasting and how it improves cognitive function. That's and, a later video. We're going to yeah, do a lot about oh fasting gosh, and intermittent oh fasting. And, so yeah, people yeah, think that he was weak and I'm like, mm -mm, no, 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 no. Let's study fasting people. Virtually every health condition and human activity is improved with slow, deep breathing. Your lymphatic system is supercharged with breathing. And we're going to do that breathing technique right now. So okay. get positioned, right? Here we go. I want you to put your hands on your belly and I want you to take a breath. So, oh, every time I do a class and I have all these people in class, I'm like, okay, everybody take a deep breath. And what happens? 95% of the class goes, mm -hmm. And I'm like, mm, okay, now I want you to take a breath, put your hands on your belly, and I want you to breathe in and don't move up here. Only move the belly. You can't see me because I'm down, way down here. But only move the belly. So when you take in a breath, I want you to breathe in your nose and out your nose. No mouth breathing for this one. Mouth breathing is a different thing. I'm gonna talk about that later, just later. Here's your foundational teaching right now though, okay? So breathe in your nose and out your nose. When you breathe in your nose, you're going to create nitric oxide, which is essential for human everything. Okay, so let's take a deep breath and I want your hands to go out. Okay, take a, breath, a deep breath in. Your belly goes out and then breathe out and navel to the spine. Breathe in, belly goes out and breathe out navel to the spine. So here's my challenge for you. When you first wake up in the morning and you're lying in bed, I want you to put your hands on your belly and I want you to nose breathe. And I want you to do five to 10 of those breaths. Let's just say five, let's make it easy and simple. Five deep belly breaths in the nose and out the nose. It's going to regulate the body. It's going to help balance the body. It's going to help balance your autonomic nervous system. It's going to help balance out the fight, flight, rest and digest. That's your autonomic nervous system. It's going to prepare you for the day. It's going to breathe in life so you can have energy for the day. And then at night, when you lie down to go to sleep, it's going to help balance and get you in that restful state so that you can sleep because so many people have that, you know, you call monkey brain. I right? call it the monkey chatter. Yep. La, 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 la. I mean, you can't shut it off, but with breathing that helps to slow everything down. So a nice, slow, deep breath in nice, slow, deep breath out in through the nose, out through the nose. Five of those, when you lie down, it's going to help you sleep like a baby. And, and let me just interject here. In the beginning, it might be a little difficult because you're retraining how to breathe correctly. Yes. And, and I, I was one of the 95% that didn't know how to breathe the correct way. And so, and I think part of it too was when, when I first, you started teaching this, I would do it and I was already had a big belly. <laughs> And so I didn't want that belly to be even more <laughs> because it was so embarrassing in public, right? To stick your belly out and breathe and it goes even further and you look like you're nine months pregnant as a dude. That's not cool. <laughs> and, that's why you do it in the bed. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You do it in private. <laughs> what I'm saying is it, it, when you're learning a new technique, give yourself that, that time. It's like anything we're going to teach you guys in this Fit Over 40 group is you have to give yourself time to develop new, new habits, new skills. And so it might be, you might start doing it and be like, wait, this, this feels weird. It's not what I'm accustomed to, but just continue to do it. Michelle's giving you the practical, do it the five times in the morning, five times at night. And then if you can try to, you know, intentionally do it sometime during the during day, the day. Mm -hmm. but you, you need to focus on it. I remember I did this, I was in this, this one class when I was in, in the, in the traditional university where they wanted us to, they didn't teach us how to breathe but they were trying to teach what focusing on breathing does. And it was so amazing because I remember the professor, he said, we're going to just take some time 
And I know by, everybody got uncomfortable because he took about 20 minutes. He said, I just want you to um, focus on how you're breathing, what you're breathing, and become mindful of everything that's around you in the room as you were breathing. And it was so uncomfortable, but I believe the reason was is nobody knew how to breathe right. So we're just thinking about breathing. So we're listening to the air in our nose and we're, you know, some people are almost hyperventilating because they got anxious about it. Um, but there is something amazing about when we slow down, we talk a lot yeah. about taking a pause in life and just concentrate on breathing correctly. You know, I, I, I sometimes I joke and I say, and it's, it's kind of a sweet thing and some people don't like it, but I kind of like it is that if you think about every morning when we wake up, we're kissed by heaven. That is true. Right. Because we receive the breath of God. Right. And so think about how beautiful that is every morning when you wake up, just take in that intimate moment with the Lord as he breathes new, fresh life into you. And this is me going on one of my little philosophical <laughs> and, and sweet things, but breathing <laughs> is so vital. And so I, I know it's been very um, helpful for my own life as you have, as I've learned from what you're teaching others how we've been able to do that. And I, and it does, it does give you that sense of calm, okay. clarity, and I'll, we'll bring some other things as we introduce this oil here, but yeah. To, so five in the morning, five at night. And you know, if nothing else, the motivation that you're getting rid of trash and yeah. you can lose weight quickly and you can gain mental clarity much quicker, that should just be the motivation right there. So, so the, we're so, going to, so before you do yes? that, so okay. on those, so is there a time that you do? So breathe, breathe in, let, just count to out. four okay give it four a four count. if you if you want a you know a strategic thing just count to four four okay. i just breathe as much as possible and then breathe out because more oxygen you take in and then exhale it's, it's going to be more effective yes and then if you want it oh we used to do this we used to get balloons and who could blow up a balloon? The biggest in one breath was the big was the winner. And I always won the competitions because you, you know, hot air. I'm That's just full hot. But no, but you get that 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 breath down into the lower part of your the lobes of your lungs. You're creating massive circulation where there's not many because a lot of people breathe fear <laughs> and if they're mouth breathers that's 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 a, a serious concern right there if, if they're mouth breathers but you'll see a lot of people breathe up here <laughs> and that's causing a sympathetic nervous response and we don't want that constantly that's that ah we want to balance we want to deep breathe and get that balance within the autonomic nervous system that yes, I can handle the stress of the day. Now breathing, we're talking about Christmas and one of the amazing scents that we smell all through the holiday season is cinnamon. Cinnamon has been, it's, it's just been promoted throughout the world for years and years, thousands of years as oh, yeah. for medicinal, for cooking, for everything. And when I was looking it up, it had, okay, the time that we're living in right now, there has been some respiratory attacks. Guess what? Cinnamon and cassia. We're going to talk more about cassia. What, what is the benefit? The biggest benefit for those is a respiratory benefit. So when you put cassia or cinnamon in your diffuser or when you cook with it, or when you're just having, you know, the cinnamon sticks out and it, you smell it, you are giving your body a huge boost in its immune function just from the smell. It's on to you now. Okay. So you're talking mostly about breathing today, but there's so many other benefits. So what we're doing in this one, we're connecting cinnamon and cassia. And the reason we're doing it, they are different, but they come from this, they have the same botanical properties. And so they're very similar. They smell similar, but I will, I want to say this about cassia. This oil right here is a hot oil. They're both hot. Hot oils. So do not make the mistake <laughs> of putting this anywhere on your body without a carrier oil. <laughs> I did that. I, I, I don't even know why I put it you on one day. Rubbed I, put, it on your I just foot. accidentally rubbed it on my head and my head turned blood red. It was like I had fried my brain with Cassie oil. So it, this is a warning. It is a hot 
oil. The, the, here's the thing is Cassie is actually used to promote calmness. <laughs> It, unless you rub it on your head without a carrier oil, you will burn, you will fry your brain. So do not use it in that way. But you can make your own toothpaste. Yes. Great properties for gum health, for teeth health, but you know, you're mixing it. You're yeah. not using it straight. Not using it straight. But here's the thing. Now, so in the Bible, Cassie is on, actually only mentioned, the word Cassie is only used three times, but it's mixed in, in the Hebrew a little bit with cinnamon. Both are mentioned as part of the, uh, the oil, the anointing oil. We talked about myrrh the other day, and in the original in Exodus, when they put myrrh as the key ingredient, Cassie, I think, is listed fourth on that list as one of the ingredients. And so we see it in this, this also this property within the holy anointing oil, which was a sacred oil that could only be mixed to this these specific uh with these specific properties and, and there's all these different uses and all these different things with it um cassie is actually enlisted in you know this better than i do ayurvedic and in ancient chinese medicine traditional chinese medicine it, it's listed as one of the 50 most important herbs in traditional chinese medicine they loved it they used it for so many things medicinally i think they actually use it for a diuretic as well yes it, it helps for that. for that so uh -huh. if you're you know, if you're having issues with that, I also believe that it's used for um, uh, women who struggle with very difficult menstrual cycles. Mm -hmm. Cassia and is a, yeah, and pregnancy. It's great oil for that. But I wanted to take a little, little different take on this uh, today, just from a spiritual standpoint, because the time that we're living on, living in for so many people has been a time of uncertainty, chaos, confusion, discomfort. And there are many times that we go through things in life where we feel like something has been taken from us or we've been, something has been, I'm going to use this term because it's important, it, something has been stripped away from us. And so when I was thinking about cassia, I was looking at the cassia, um, it's, it's actually made from the bark of the cinnamon a tree. I mean, we'll say it that way. I can't pronounce the actual term of what the plant really is, but they would take the bark and it, they would strip this bark away, right? And I think about that. And so to me, that speaks of getting rid of pride, bringing in humility. And when we, because the Bible teaches us that we're, if we're going to be exalted in life, we have to be humble. The Bible says that if we humble ourselves before the Lord, he will, he will raise us up in due season. And I think many times when we're going through hardships in life, we can't see it as a blessing or a benefit. But sometimes if we'll pay attention, it might be that God is actually using that uncertainty, that chaos, and that confusion. He probably didn't create it, but he will use it to actually strip something off of our life. And what's so beautiful about this, Cassie, is they would take this bark, they would you know, they would strip it off of this plant and then they would take the bark and to get the oil and to get the, the, the most profound fragrance from it, they would go through this, um, this steam distillation process to get to the very, the very heart and the very, the depth of the, the, the fragrance. And they would use it for perfumes and all this. I think Psalm mm -hmm. 45 talks about how, you know, it was this, this perfume, it was made of cassia and it was beautiful. Song of Solomon used cinnamon and, and cassia is kind of interchangeable. Again, there's somebody, and I don't know, I don't know if I, I believe this or not, but it would be cool. I did read somewhere where it said that cinnamon slash cassia is the fragrance of Christ. Oh, and I read somewhere that neat. said that, you know, upon Christ's return, we're going to smell that cinnamon or that cassia. And that, so that's kind of oh, a cool, cool idea, neat. if that's true. But, but so in terms of, because we've been talking about not just the, the physical benefits of these things, we also want to understand spiritual symbolism. And I, so for me, as I'm looking at this, the, the, the two things I see is, one is what I talked about is being stripped away. So it, it, it helps to remove in that sense, symbolically, it helps to remove pride from our life. And the only way to really remove pride is for us to get to that place of humility. Now, God is awesome because God has a brilliant way of humbling us without humiliating us. And that's awesome. So he can strip things off of our life. But the only reason he does that or allows that to happen is in our life is to bring out a depth or an aroma or a beauty or a fragrance of something we haven't even scratched the surface yet through our life, in our life. And that's awesome. So humility. And the other thing is, is, is I just like to look at it as a, as, a, as a part of courage. We were talking about myrrh the other day, and we talked about myrrh being representative of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And when you have wisdom, you get clarity, right? When you have clarity, you get courage and all those things. But 
one of the things that Cassia does, if you, I, I put this to the test, you know, Michelle's talking about breathing, but I, but if you, I, I'll give you a little extra bonus or added homework on this, as you are doing that, that breathing exercise at night, put a little Cassia in the diffuser. And when you do those breaths, pay attention to how much calm you begin to feel because it has the properties in it that have been tested scientifically, statistically, whatever element, whatever process it's been through, it has been proven to, to eliminate, not just bring it down, but actually eliminate people that, that have a high stress life. And so here's the thing, when you're in a place of calm and peace, it actually, you find courage. So for me, symbolically, Cassie is representative of being stripped away, bringing us to that place of humility so that God can raise us up. And it also brings us into a place of calm so that we can find our courage. And we know this, that most people give in to fear. Courage is not the absence of fear. Courage is the ability to take action even when you're afraid. Yes. And I believe that we're in a place of calm, a place of rest, a place of of being able to breathe and get all those benefits that Michelle was talking about, then we find our courage and we take action. And if we're going to achieve anything in life, if we want to get fit over 40, if we want to be physically fit, mentally fit, emotionally fit, relationally fit, spiritually fit, we have to get in that place of peace and calm and find our courage and take action. That's what Cassia does. Wow. Wow. Okay. You got now, the you coming know. Out on me. now you know yeah. okay and you know what everything with god it's, it's just like we are just scratching the surface of so many things that he yeah. has for us that we can be everything that he's called us to be yeah. so okay guys we're gonna let you go and we'll see you next time for um well I was going to give you a hint of what we we're going to do next time, but I'm not going to. You just have to wait. You just have to wait. Okay. Okay. We love you so much. We hope this has helped you and do your breathing exercises every morning, every night, and just see how it balances out everything and gives you the energy for the day and then gives you such restful sleep Yeah. and add your cassia or your cinnamon. Okay. All right. See you next time. Bye guys.